take one in route. Hey guys, welcome back to the Fultoneers. So today I am going to take you on a 48 hour shift, which is a two day shift. So it is Tuesday morning and I will get off Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Um, so I woke up at 3.45 this morning. My job is about 45-ish minutes away. And so I got up, I went for my 20 minute run, I showered, I did not put my face back on, and I can do that later on. I packed and made sure that I had all my food prep ready so that I have my meals ready, and I packed my bags, put everything in the truck, and now I am about to head out. But I will let you know when I get to the station, and here we go. All right, so I just got to the station. It's almost shift change, which we do at six o'clock. And Medic One, which is our truck, is out on the call right now. So we just kind of sit here and wait till they get back. Uh, you can see those are our bay doors. We um, we keep our truck right here in the second one or the middle one. That's the one we have the door clicker for in the truck to close the door. And then we usually park in these two doors. Uh, um, right now you can see we're parked out here. You can see one of our, maybe, can you see? Oh, you can kind of see the ambulance right there. That's one of our uh, old ones and it is out of service. It does no longer even turn on. So we're just, I guess it's scrap metal. I don't know. But um, normally what we would do is if the crew was here, we would do a shift change. So they're going to tell us about anything that happened during shift that was substantial. Uh, if there were any road issues, if there's any road blockages, if there's equipment broken or missing on the truck and kind of an idea. So if they ran like five CPRs, we know that we can kind of check some of that stuff that we're going to need and make sure that the Lucas and stuff is charged so that that's kind of our main focus. If they had to do so many trauma calls, then we can kind of check, double check the trauma stuff, make sure all that's good. Cause we do go through the entire truck, make sure everything is up to par, everything's ready to go. Uh, we'll check lights, sirens, all that fun stuff, and then give it a wash down, make sure it's clean, nice and pretty and ready to start the day. So we heard them clear the hospital, which is gonna be about 30-ish minutes before they are back here. So I'm gonna run inside, kind of unpack my food and put that in the fridge, and then I will check the truck off when it gets here. All right. So this is our bay. This is where we keep our ambulance. And then we have our washer and dryer here for sheets and towels and things that we bring back. Every morning when we get here, we have to check off our ambulance and that doesn't just involve the supplies we have on it. That involves making sure that it starts, turning on the lights, making sure all the sirens work. So I'm gonna kind of take you inside, see what we do. When we are done checking all of that in here in the cab, we'll start checking the outside of it. So we have a compartment here that kind of connects to the inside. We have gloves. We have our Lucas device, which we use for CPR calls. And then inside, we have lots of more fun stuff. So here's gonna be like our OB kits, all of our extra sheets, towels. This is our McGrath for when we do innovations. And then we have our PPE is here. And we have hot packs, cold packs, glucose, charcoal, and wound care and things are here. This is stuff for our monitor, so EKG pads and extra things that we need. And then we have all of our airway stuff and medications on this side. We also have a monitor and a jump bag. So pretty much every single patient is gonna get a monitor unless they don't want us to touch them at all, which sometimes happens. So you can see there's one seat there, there's a seat there, and then there's a bench seat here which can fit three, but when everybody's in here, including a patient, it can get really crazy crowded. So every morning we go through, we make sure that we have all of our supplies and the right amount, everything. It, it takes a little bit of time. And then in here, we have our supply room where we can restock all of our equipment. And then on the outside, on this side of our ambulance, we have our trauma kit, 
which has our C collar and some splinting mechanisms that we can use with the bandaging. And we have some cleaning supplies and we have our extra sheets. So and up front we have gloves and we have more gloves in here for when fire or police come onto the scene with us. And then every time you have to plug in the truck and you have to make sure you unplug it before you leave the bay. Part of checking off the truck is making sure that we have full oxygen on our main tank right here and on our portable tank and having two extra portable tanks in the truck and our main tank only had 200 in it so we had to switch it there was there are the old ones right there and we had to bring a new one in here we put it in there we're gonna get ratchet strapped down and attached so that if we end up with a call where somebody needs a lot of oxygen then we have the oxygen for it so after each call that we go on you have to come back in restock everything that you've used so that if you get another call you don't run low on supplies so after each call you want to check the batteries on the monitor and make sure that they're all charged so if you have a call that's going to be really long you are still prepared for that you always keep an extra battery in the back of your pack so that you know that that's going to be charged and then you have your jump bag so if you use anything on scene from your jump bag you want to make sure you restock that first and so i usually grab stuff from the shelf and restock that since that goes on scene with us if we run calls back to back to back and then i will start restocking the truck once we get back to the station so all right so i have checked the lights on the truck and we checked to make sure that the siren works and we are now cleaning the truck i have sprayed it down and we're scrubbing it clean it was a little bit dirty not too bad but enough to where you could and it did not pass the white glove test. So here we go, cleaning it, woohoo. All right, so now I'm going to clean the inside of the truck because we get dirt, we do all sorts of stuff, walking around in people's homes and properties. So we wanna make sure that we have everything all clean. Uh, we don't want to track things into other people's homes, especially from different shifts, you know, just clean everything. And then once I'm done here, I'm going to go clean inside the station. Hey guys, so we just got back from a call. Uh, we just got back in town. It was from almost a two and a half ish hour call. It was a little bit lengthy. We had to go to a hospital a little bit out of our county and then through another county to another one. So it was um, a little bit long, but that was call number one of the shift. And we're gonna go back to the station, restock and everything. Uh, make sure that we put all the supplies that we use during that back on and make sure that all of our equipment is set to par. All of our batteries and everything are uh, recharged and refreshed and Yep, and I'm gonna eat lunch because it's almost noon and I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to eat if I wait a little bit longer, so. You can tell how tired I am. Uh, so it's almost 2 a.m. and we just got back from a call. Uh, we got to sleep about four-ish hours before we got a call and we're gonna try to get some more sleep now. Fun. So it is 4 a.m. for uh, 21 to be exact, and I am working on finishing up some charts, uh, drinking extra large coffee right now. And this is X large. I don't really feel like it's doing anything. I feel like I could still pass out right now, and I plan on it soon once I finish this. Um, this is fun. I still have. 24 to five and a half hours of the shift so we'll see how tomorrow goes today was pretty pretty active pretty interesting so it's five o'clock in the morning I'm laying here not able to sleep 
I'm just staring at the wall. It's so exciting. All right, guys, so it is day two of shift, and uh, as you saw, I went to sleep at five this morning, and we got our first call about 8.39 ish, and we just got back. Uh, it's now 10.30. I just finished my two mile run, and I'm now walking around the block. You can see the station over there, and just uh, going around, cooling down. Um, so day two. Day two on shift, you still have to do your dailies. So mileage oil, or gas, oil, make sure everything is still on the truck. You restocked yesterday, you're good to go. And um, clean the station if it got messy yesterday. If you ended up, we went to a place where we ended up getting red dirt everywhere. So we cleaned the truck up a little bit, um, spray it down if it's needed. Now, today is kind of just a wait for calls day. There's not as much to do on day two. Um, you can check with S1, which is our supervisor, and make sure we don't need to move any trucks around, don't need to do anything extra, and whew, I didn't realize how out of breath I was. Goodness gracious. Um, so yeah, the water guy just came, gave us new water jugs, so that's fun. And uh, we'll just do our chart from this morning and get all of that done and then see how today goes. So one of the fun things about EMS is that you can get calls randomly throughout the day. So this is now our third trip to Brookshire Brothers to try to get creamer and bread. We will see if it actually is successful this time. Probably not. Do you think it'll be successful? Hey guys, so I got off my 48 hour shift this morning and I'm walking into a hospital of one of my clinical sites. So this is the fun part of being a paramedic student is going from shift to shifts of clinicals. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video over my 48 hour shift. If you have any questions or you wanna see some stuff a little bit more in depth that I didn't cover, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I actually did this video over two shifts so that I could kinda of get everything in and I still feel like I missed some things. I didn't really show you all the station much and all of that. So if you wanna see that and that's something that you want to see, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll maybe upload that. Um, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel for more fun videos and hit that bell button so you don't miss anything. And I hope y'all have a fantastic night.